Hey guys, Eric Barfield from Patch Foundry. Today, I am gonna show you exactly how to install the NS4 cover band collection for the Nord Stage 4. Let's get started. When you buy anything from Patch Foundry, you're gonna get an instant download link that'll go to your downloads folder if you're on a Mac. And it's gonna be a PDF that looks like this. On one side, you're gonna have your download files um, that you'll want to click immediately and then you'll have an installation video which you are watching right now available here. Once you've downloaded the files and double clicked it to unzip it, you're going to have all of these files here. You'll have a manual, a written version of what I'm telling you right here, a sample directory which is brand new. This allows you to see all of the samples used on all of the individual patches. You'll have a archive file, a programs folder with all of the individual presets here, 308, I believe, of this one. And then you're going to have um, a sample backup, which you shouldn't need unless you've done some modifications on your Nord Stage 4 where you pulled samples off. But And then you'll have uh, section presets. So that'll be presets for organs, pianos, and synths which you can use to create your own sounds or to tweak the sounds that are available. To install these, you're going to want to go to nordkeyboards.com and download some free software for your computer. You go here, then you click up here at the top under software, and then you're going to download the Nord Sound Manager on your computer. While you're here, you also might want to go over to the Nord Stage 4 page and make sure that your firmware is updated. You can click over here, and then go down to downloads, and then just check that your firmware is version 1.32 or higher. If not, you just download that and it's a quick update. Once you've connected your Nord Stage 3 via a USB cable to your computer, it should show up and look something like this, and all of the files should be visible here. Now, there are two ways that you can install the Nord Stage 4 cover band collection. The first is really easy using an archive file, but it wipes everything that is on your Nord Stage 4. Uh, the more complicated way is you can drag in everything individually, and that takes more time. You have to be more precise, but it allows you to merge, say, a bunch of patches that you already have with the Nord Stage 4 cover band collection. So let's start off by showing you how to do the archive version. First of all, come up here and click the backup button. Save a copy to your desktop, just in case something goes wrong. Next, we're gonna come up here and hit restore. And then I'm going to go to wherever I have saved my files. For me, I have it here on the desktop, so I don't, don't forget it. And I'm gonna come over to here, and it looks like this. Once I tap it, I hit open, and it'll start to load everything in. And that is literally it. All you have to do is just sit back and wait for it to load and that'll be it. Now, if you want to do the more complicated version, the manual way, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so step one, we're going to want to click on this button that says program. And then we're going to want to make sure that organize is turned on up here. So it looks this way with it off and this way with it on. It shows all the empty slots. Naturally, uh, when you load up a Nord Stage 4 with the factory um, settings all intact, you're gonna have 100 open slots. So you could put in 100 program files from your collection and not have to remove anything if you haven't added any. So to do that, I can literally just come over here to programs. I could select a few at a time or a bunch at a time. I can hit Command A if you're using a Mac and I could drop in up to 100. Now, if I want to make even more room than that, I'm gonna to have to start removing some of this stuff. To remove it, um, you can simply select a few of these, or one, and hit sound up. Once you do that, you set a destination, and you're done. Then you can delete it here and add as many of these as will fit in the slots you open up. And then if you want to come back to it at some point, you can always just drag back in those programs. And again, that's all you would have to do if you want to use this collection with the factory sounds. Let's go a little bit deeper, though. 
In the cover band collection, I've included presets for the organ, the piano, and the synth sections of your Nord Stage 4. And you don't have to install these in order for them, for your program files to work. But you can and build your own sounds, and I find it's helpful to have these on hand. To do that, you're going to simply repeat the process we just had with the program file. We're going to come over to, like, let's say, organ. I'll scroll down, make sure that organize button is on and then go to section presets, organ presets, and then it's labeled by which bank you can put it in, but you can really put it anywhere you want. And then I can either drag these in or grab a few of them and drag them in. The same goes for the piano preset and the synth preset section as well. You can add as many or as few of these as you want and have instant presets to build your own sounds or to augment the stuff that's already in the cover band collection. So last but not least, what happens if you drag in all of these files and all of a sudden you're getting a bunch of error messages that you can't find the right samples? Well, let me show you how to fix that. You should not have any issues when it comes to finding samples because I'm just using the factory presets. But if for some reason you've removed some of the sample library's files, um, or you've augmented your Nord Stage 4 in some way, or Nord just decides to randomly put out some sort of update where they remove files, which they have done once before, um, you can always find your samples here. So you go over to your section, samples, backup, and then you can find all your piano samples here and all of your sample library sounds here. And then all you have to do to figure out which, uh, what, what uh, patches you need to replace samples in, is you can go to the sample directory, which is brand new. So I click here, it's a CSV file, so you can sort it, you can do all kinds of stuff and manipulate the data if you want to. And like, let's say you were randomly going to play, uh, let's just say American Girl. American Girl here, it tells you on slot, uh, piano slot A, it's this particular sample. On synth slot, it's this. Slot B, it's this, and so on and so forth. And then you simply just make room in your sample library and import the file. Now, if you get stuck on any of these steps or I'm not clear enough for you, you can always write me at patchfoundry.com and I'll personally write you back. Thanks so much.